Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to get back on the Kawasaki F7. Uh, that engine has been laying around here on the floor too long. The frame, if you remember, is pretty much all built up, ready to go. It's got new tires. It's, uh, it's just, it's put together. So it's about time that we get onto the engine. Uh, I was I was having a little trouble with some parts. Uh, the piston is the main thing, and I did find all that stuff, and we'll be boring the cylinder eventually, also. And uh, you know, it. I don't know whether the rest of it is going to be that hard to find parts for. You know, i.e., seals and gaskets and so on and so forth. Hopefully, I don't need any hard parts. But anyhow. Uh, it's time to open her up, make sure that we don't need anything, and if we do, trying to find it. And uh, get it cleaned up, and get it put back together, and get it in the uh, frame. And then we can go on to uh, whatever we're gonna do with uh, paint and that sort of stuff. Anyhow, let me get you overhead over here, and we'll start taking it apart. Okay, got it over here on my Tin covered bench so I can get all the oily parts up here. We're going to start on this side and I've got uh, I've got a bracket right here that holds the wiring so I want to get the wiring out. Let me grab my impact real quick here. It's been a while since we did all that. I think beginning of the summer, I may have gotten most of the, the frame and everything back together. So it's been a little, little while coming here. And I've got my timing mark here. I can see it's lined up with the other mark. So that's what we'll do when we Put it back together. And we've got a little wire over here for the, the neutral. And if you remember right, uh, I did a video. A gentleman contacted me and couldn't get his flywheel off. So I did a quick video to show that. So if you uh, are having trouble getting the flywheel off or wanted to see that, then uh, look that video up. Otherwise, we're, we're moving on here. I think I did get some seals for this. Maybe even all of them, I don't know. It's just been a while since I kind of messed with this thing. Oops, that didn't hold very good, did it? Okay, I don't know whether this thing has even got oil in it. So uh, we'll turn it over and I imagine it'll run out here if it does. So everything out on this side. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> it must have oil and it. it's dripping down here in my pan. I think we were trying to well, we did a will it run video on it, I think. And it was, uh, that's where we determined that the uh, piston was way too loose. And we went ahead and got, uh, got on the process of finding a piston. Go ahead and get this pump off. And I think you can see over here. Yeah, so I'll get this. Be sure to hold on to those old lines when you're unscrewing the bolts on them. It just really doesn't take much to twist them off. And that should all come loose when the side cover comes off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these screws loosened up. Okay, we've been in there. I remember, remember all that. So I think, let's see, what's going to fall out if I turn this over? Probably that. I think I'm going to kind of move it. over this way. Yeah, there it goes. So we'll let that drain for a little bit. I do notice this piece right here. Let me, uh, I was having trouble getting that out. I had the bolts off of it. Okay, there she comes. That's some Kawasaki thing. I can't remember what that I read about it once. It's always kind of nasty in there. That's uh, what I've gathered from some of the videos that I've watched. So we're gonna let that drain for a few minutes and then we'll get back to it. Okay, most of it's drained out here. Let's uh, roll it on over and see if we can't. I had to move you. I, I think when I put my overhead up over here, I kind of put it in the wrong place. So we're, we're having to deal with it this way. <clears throat> but it looks like we just need to get into our clutch and just do what we've already done already, but uh, this time we're going all the way in. Let me grab some more tools.
let me work on this, uh, getting this nut off here before we get into that too far. Actually, I think I'm going to use my ratchet on that. I hate to use the penny trick and and uh, use an impact that's uh, inviting problems. I think when you're trying to do something like that, so we'll get the penny in there. Yeah, that wasn't that bad anyway. And I got everything loose for us. Yeah, I thought so. All right, now we'll move on with our clutch. Yeah, I think I got one of these too. I remember this. Somebody made this pusher out of a valve, looks like for a Briggs and Stratton engine. Good idea, but I believe I got one, so we won't have to go back in with that. Let's see here if I got, yep, that's a 19. I've got to get it uh, peeled over. It's kind of a small clutch compared to some. Well, looky there. My Yamaha holder works for that. It looked familiar, but just wasn't sure. Who knows, it came from an old motorcycle shop, so it, it may have been for a Kawasaki. But I think I've used that one on a Yamaha too. Okay, we've got a thrust washer under there. Right here. Let me grab my caliper real quick and we'll take a measurement and just see what that is. Uh, about one and a half millimeter, something like that. 140 is what I'm getting. So we'll know what goes in there then. Okay, is this, is that thing going to come off? Let's see if it will move easy or if I'm going to have to get a, 
Yeah, I may have to get a puller for that. Uh, this, has it got a, nope, doesn't have a keeper on the other side. So it should come out. Okay, let me see what I can find for the primary gear. All right, I've got one here I think will work. It probably isn't on there very tight anyway. Just needs a little, little help getting going there. Yeah, easy peasy. Just hard enough that you can't pull it off by hand. That's the way that some of this stuff is. And it seems like it's kind of continuing to be that way, so we'll go ahead and use the puller. It's got to be just about off. Yeah, just a good snug fit. All right. Let's see if we can get this little spring off. got some snap rings to remove. And let's see here, we've got a washer on that side and one on this side. So let's get measurements on those. I'm sure they're they probably only go in one place, but we don't know that. I got a half a millimeter on the outside. Oh, look at here, we got two of them back here. And both of those are half millimeter. So we've got two on the engine side and one on the, the uh, clutch side. So we've got that. Is this coming out yet? Yep. Got a gear there. And it's got a little cog. And we've got a pin up here like a Yamaha does for the plastic gear. And looks like the uh, driven gear is, or drive gear I guess it is, is uh, in good shape there. Well, I can't hold on to anything. I think my fingers are greasy. There. Okay. Is this ready to come out or is this a... Uh, I don't know about that. I think it is going to stay in there until... Um, It'll be on the inside, I think. I'll see if I can do some looking. I noticed too that our eccentric for the shifter uh, is loose. So what I'm gonna do is just tighten it up where it is because it was shifting. I'm sure we'll have to adjust it, but we'll uh, snug it down that way it uh, will be kind of where it was. Okay, we've got our 
little nipple here for the oil injection. And I probably got to get a key out of here. And this here bolt and these screws and the rotary valve screws. Let me get those. Okay, I went ahead and pulled the key out with my pair of pliers there. And uh, we go ahead and get these out. And I've already put a new seal in here. I remember doing that when we were messing with this thing before. So I've got to remember that I don't need to change that again. Get our little 10 millimeter bolt there for our shifter arm there. Okay, this is a two piece affair. So we'll put it together. Of course, it's going to be this way for the spring. So that's how that thing's going to go. Try to keep it together. And let's see. got some screws here. I think these over here by the bearing, these should be able to remain in because uh, it's going the other way. So that's just to keep this from coming this way. It's my belief anyway. Got this loose now. We've got our big O-ring in here. I've gotten another O-ring, so that O-ring's good. And this, I believe. See, I think this had a pin in it, if I remember right. I have to break the suction on it. Wait a minute, there's a, there is a O-ring right there. There it comes. Okay, so we got the O-ring out. Uh, still got suction there, I think. Okay, the rotary valve come off. Okay, note the orientation there. check and see I think this has got this is where the pin is if I remember right I, I've only had one of these parts so it's uh, almost like the first time here I'm taking the time here to kind of get some of the the worst of this dirt off so it's, it seems like it's pretty easy trying to keep it away from the internals here I did the other before I took the side case off but this one I didn't and I should have so I'll try to get as much of this off as I can and then we'll uh, proceed okay I'm gonna go ahead and pop these uh, screws 
while it's in the stand. Then I'll have to take it out of the stand to split the cases. But I'll go ahead and get this done. Okay, this has been into been into before. I can see the where the screws were kind of messed up in a couple of places. So so it's been open before. There's looks like one screw I can't get to right back here. So I have to wait until I get the get it out of the stand. I think I've got all the rest of them. I do notice I've got a broken uh, screw stud or whatever right here and kind of right here. So I'll probably be welding those up at some point. So let me get it out of the stand and then we'll see if we can get it apart. Okay, I think we got to get this off there before we can split it. I think we're kind of down to where we need to be. I got this one remaining one loose, so let me kind of change out my, my gun here and we'll see if we can get those out. This one looks like it's probably been leaking, or maybe they put some kind of sealant on it or something. Kind of makes you wonder when you see that the screws are messed up, that what in the world they were in there for. But, as I said, it's uh, it was shifting okay. Clutch is working. Everything was good. It just was uh, sucking a lot of air when we first started it up. We've got most of that fixed. I do have a new intake for it, though. Okay, I think that's it. I don't know whether I need to get this off or not. I'll go ahead and do it just in case. Yeah, just got a little follower in here. All right. See, I missed. Let me get my splitter hooked up. Okay, my puller, or separator in this case, is not going to work because holes are too small. And I don't have any long five millimeter. So I'm just going to tap it a little bit here. There we go with a plastic hammer. Okay. We've got a separation here a little wider in the back looks like. Okay so that's all that's good. So let's see what we can do here to maybe Yeah, there we go. Just a just a little tapping.
see, I think we're supposed to leave everything in the right case on this one. and get it past the dowel pins. I just don't like getting in there to pry with anything. So we're just gonna tap until we can get the job done. Okay, just a, just a lot of tapping, back and forth, back and forth. And from what I understand, we're supposed to leave this in the right case. Just looks like it needs a good cleaning. Okay, I guess we'll just, uh, well that one's staying in because it's got a retainer, that's a good idea. Alright, so that little thing that we took out of the out of the front. So I don't know all these Kawasaki terms. This little item here, it's connected right here. You can see holes going through. So I'm gonna have to kind of read about that and see if I can figure out what it is. I think the junk man on YouTube has got a lot of information about these Kawasaki engines. So I'll probably start with him. Okay, so we're kind of apart. We just got whatever's left here. Crank feels really good. Even the bearings do. Okay, let's see if we can get the rest of this out now. gear trying to come off back there. There we go. Alright, so I think we've got everything. Chalk it here so it doesn't want to come apart. Okay, so that leaves us with just the Kickstarter shaft left in and the bearing over here. So 
so it's a little different than what I'm used to, but really not that much. Uh, everything seems to come out and probably goes back in uh, all assembled, I would say. That's uh, the way most of them are. And from what I can tell right now, everything's looking pretty good. Let me get you handheld here and I can take you a little closer to what we're doing. There's uh, all the gears, shims, same orientation over here with the brass behind, and then just just kind of nasty looking. I mean, it's just that's normal when you get into those things. I don't see anything that I shouldn't see. I don't think. We've just got a lot of clean up ahead of us. Oh, and I, I don't know whether I showed it or not, but I was able to get that off. I had my little, um, hmm, where is that piece? Right here. Uh, I was able to just, see here's where the pin goes right here. And I pulled the pin out of the crank and I just got behind this, one of these little tabs with my uh, little puller, my, my little slide hammer with the uh, little 90 degree on it and just gave it a little tap, came right off. So that's, it wasn't on there very tight. It just didn't want to come off when I was messing with it. But, you know, it's, uh, it's just kind of time for a cleanup now. We've got the rest of it over here. So it's a cleanup, get our, uh, replace any bearings that we need to, and we'll uh, do all the seals that we haven't done already. Okay, guys, there you have it. Uh, disassembly of the F7 Kawasaki. Uh, we'll just, I'll get into the cleaning of it and uh, I'll go ahead, we'll go through and inspect everything. Uh, we'll, we'll set the crank up. It feels real good, but we'll set it up in between centers on the lathe. I think all the, the, uh, the points look pretty good on it. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. This one here is a little rough. Well, we'll do what we have to do. If we can't get it in between centers, we'll go to uh, the uh, uh, the rig that I made for the knife knife edge V blocks, and we'll set it in there and see if make sure everything's up the way it ought to be, and then we'll uh, uh, go ahead and I'll, looks like I've got to order some gaskets. And I'm not sure what the deal is on the seals. I know I ordered some. I may have them all. I've just got to get out and inventory all the parts that I have for it. So it's just, um, from this point on, it's just cleaning on this one. And then when we get to the point where we we're ready to go back together, we'll do that. So hey, thanks for going along on the ride. And we'll see you next video.